Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this last uh, DIY for this year's Halloween. We're gonna be starting with this piece of fabric. It's a black one. It's a random one. And I'm just going to be using an old bandana that I get at the pet shop that they use when they go for their haircuts and everything. But then I'm going to be putting that on top. But I'm going to be marking the shape of my bandana. I'm using this white marker for fabric. But it's not essential. You can use this without this one. I just use it because I have it. And once I've done that, I'm just going to be cutting in that triangle. And then I'm going to be taking some white acrylic paint. If you want to go for like fabric paint, just go ahead and do it. But I'm using like acrylic paint, like normal stuff. And I'm using my thin brush. And I'm going to be writing trick first. And then R. And then treat. And for the O, I'm going to be um, painting or drawing a spider web. And then I'm going to add the spider in there. Then I'm going to go and use one of my dotting tools. And you can use the back of a brush as well. And I'm going to be painting a polka dot pattern. And then I'm going to be painting this with orange, purple, and green. And the reason I used first white is because if I use white on top of any color, the colors are going to pop a lot more. So that's what I'm going for. Especially if you're using a black base like my piece of fabric is, the colors are going to be a lot more vibrant if you use a white base. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint my polka dot pattern. And for this part, I'm choosing where to place what color really randomly. Then I'm going to be using this fabric glue. You can use a hot glue gun for this, but I prefer to work with this sometimes. And then I'm going to be uh, flipping my triangle or my bandana upside down. And I'm going to apply some glue on the edges. And then I'm going to just, you know, make that on the edges so they look nicer and even. And yeah, these are the two uh, bandanas ideas that I wanted to share. And I made this one as well. It says boo and has like a spider in the web and has like spider. They are honestly super easy, fast and quite handy to make. The boo one, I made it last night and it was ready today. So just, it's super easy, super simple, effective as well. If you didn't have the time to just go and buy your doggy a la Halloween costume. As far as for how they look like on my dogs, they didn't want to join the camera. They're kind of afraid of it. This is what they look like. You can kind of see how they would look like on your dogs. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. And don't forget to share. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.